All right, here we go. Um, this is going to be a Melvin video. There's the bin down there from the post office. Um, this could be a longer video. There's lots of mail to get to. People seem to enjoy these mail videos. Um, I've been doing them. This was one of the first types of videos that I actually made. Um, I started my channel May 2010, so almost seven years old. It's hard to believe. Uh, this is an optic uh, of Adrian Peterson. Um, green X Factor. These are all out of five. So there's the serial numbering. Okay. Next up is Will Fuller Optic On Card. This is the base version. The base version does not have numbering. Um, that one's off centered. I think a lot of them are off centered. So. That's something to note with these. Actually, it's not a refractor though. I don't see the. Uh, I think the ones that I thought the ones that are 150 were called the hollow refractors, but I don't. I don't know optic well enough to confirm that. So that doesn't look like a refractor to me. I'm sure, my viewers can educate me on that one. Uh, let's do this one. I don't see stuff shipped like this very often. This is from the post office. Oh, that's cool. Barry Sanders, this is a classic card. PSA 9s you can get for a great price too. And that's still a, a beautiful looking card. It's just, you know, one or two aspects might just not be as nice as a PSA 10. The, the back centered well, the front centered 60-40. Um, the corners look pretty good. So, great looking card of Barry. Next up. Um, Jordan Howard is an extra points red. This one's not number. This is Prestige 16. They've got the NFL logo down there. Score 16 was made before they could put the logos on the cards, obviously, because the players weren't on teams yet. So if you do any score, you won't see the actual NFL teams. But a lot of people like and enjoy the variation of some college cards, which I think is cool, too. There's a lot of NFL licensed cards, so there's enough for everybody to go around. Um, Tyler Boyd. I'm just a fan of Certified 16. Mainly uh, singles. I've opened two or three boxes, but it's pretty pricey and it's, it's fun to pick up the singles for cheap prices. Now that football season's kind of kind of winding down, you should see football cards sell for a little bit less as people get into the baseball mode and basketball's in full swing. Unless you're on hockey. So it's not, there's a lot of collectors in the U.S. for hockey. It seems like it's a lot, mostly in Canada, but it's just what I've seen. Um, Andre Johnson, this is Topps Chrome Black, which is just filthy. They didn't put the right uh, label. It just says Topps Chrome Refractors. Um, this was graded a while ago. Three million. Um, it's a uh, it's a 9.5 with a 9 corner sub. I'm not a fan of those ones because usually the corner is, there is something obviously wrong with it. So to me it's not really a gentleman card. That's just my opinion. Um, I feel like you should have all sharp corners for a, for a, for a gentleman and a, you know. This is Aqua. Jordan Howard Aqua. This one's off center too. So Optic must have some uh, centering problems. Aqua's 2.99. This is one of the most affordable colored refractors from optic haven't done any optic yet boxes are right around 105 110 um, i'm gonna hold off on that one you get one auto some of the hot boxes have more this is draft i don't like prism draft picks i like prism a lot but draft picks um the logo for it just looks clunky to me it doesn't look very good at all but i picked up this Howard. this is the base version so Nice car. Just putting together a Jordan Howard PC. Since everybody's collecting Zeke, I figured I'd do Howard. And he's about a tenth of the price. <laughs> uh, Eli Manning, 425. This is SP Game Used. Pretty awesome card. 425. <clears throat> it's a small label right there. We have a Vic, I think it was like seven bucks or something. 
Game Gear Auto, it's a sticker, but it doesn't look bad at all. These are, were not numbered print run. I would estimate 400 to 600. I like to throw out those estimates, but I don't know. Next. Package as well. Wow. Fantastic packaging. Just missing the tape on the top loader. 2000 Jamal. I've got like 50 of this, so I'm trying to corner the market down. <laughs> Even though the price on it never goes up, it actually goes down. I think that card's worth about 7 to 12 bucks. Back in the day, that was, I think it was 150, 200. Back when the set first came out, the Ravens were, won the Super Bowl that year. And he's a rookie. Trent Dilfer. Here's some cards I hit the uh, buy it now on. Um, can't remember the name of the seller, but his prices were great. So this is a Barry uh, vinyl, one of five, just filthy. I've been trying to add to my Barry collection since he doesn't have a lot of uh, rookie cards because his rookies are so old. Just get some of the more modern, cool-looking cards. Um, we got Zeke Orange. This is two ninety-nine from Prism, and the pink, which I think is a pretty tough pull considering you get about two pink rookies per um, box. These come in the uh, you get four, five packs, four or five packs, and one auto. And they're Target exclusive too, so pink's a pretty cool looking card. You don't see them that often either. And I want to get in some more Prism uh, retail boxes. That's a fun break. It's pretty affordable too compared to other 2016 stuff. You're just not guaranteed new hits. But you get some of the SP cards. Um, here's a cool Howard with a nice patch. Certified 16 to 50. This is the uh, Mirror Blue. So, nice card. There's the back of it. I don't know if I show the back on a lot of them. That's what the back looks like. See, so yeah, I'm slowly creeping back into uh, baseball cards. More of the uh, like older stuff. 1990 and pre- before that, um, Derek Henry certified again. This is the base version to 149 with a pretty little print for the the most common one from certified. So there's that. <laughs> More certified, uh, Jared Goff. Certified 16. This is the base one on 149. I like to get the ones with, with the nice patches because sometimes they don't really go for much more, and you might as well have a cooler patch. That's got just a, dropped off a lot. This is filthy. You don't see these pop up much either. These are SP Authentic. They didn't uh, label this right, but actually it's SP Authentic Excitement. Um, they labeled it as the base version to 1999. So. Just a little side note there. This was just recently slabbed. 261 is kind of the number they're at right now. Actually, speaking of PSA orders, I have my, I think it's 475 card order coming back. Um, it might be back Friday. So Got to get that video up next week sometime. This is a cool Cooks. There's a price on it. 15 bucks. These vinyls look like they should be the ones that are numbered uh, one of one, but they do the purple, or the black, black uh, finnet or whatever. So there's a Cooks. Uh, let me see this one. This is actually a great way to ship nicer cards in these little boxes. Great protection. Um, and you still stay under a pound. If you go up over a pound with the post office usually you're going to pay a lot more for shipping there's an empty box um, some packing peanuts and the car looks like it might be loose in the top loader yeah see all you gotta do is tape that together it's really easy um, Mirror Orange Carson Wentz to 
I like Wentz. He's my favorite quarterback from the class. So I like Howard. I like Wentz. This is cool. It was like 20 bucks. Uh, this is the Super Bowl ticket of Melvin Gordon, promising young player. It's cool to have a uh, 101 from Contenders. Is it? Awesome tackle. <laughs> That's cool. That's Crown, which is retail only, right? Carson Wentz um, patch. It's actually got four colors. It's got a little sliver of white in that left window. Oh, this one's out of 52. So, lots of modern football. I know a lot of people get tired of that, but it's just kind of my mood right now. But there should be some new types of cards coming up soon. Uh, Russell Wilson. This is Elite Red 16 to 49. That's filthy. I've only got a couple nice Zeeks, and this is one of them. So this is certified. This is the mirror blue. Um, these are still pricey, but I got it for less than they have been going for. So I think his stuff's bound to cool off now. Plus, there's a, a ton of his autos on the market. There's only so you know so many collectors out there before it's just too much. And <laughs> I think they've hit the the mark almost. This is the blue one to fifty with a nice patch. So. A little more high-end cards for this order. Flat rate envelope. If you're looking to ship with one of these, it's about six bucks with six to seven bucks with tracking for those signature confirmation extra two fifty, I think. Oh, this is not mine. It's for my brother. <laughs> I was like, I don't even know who that is. But an NBA player. Alright. We'll do a few from the bin and then call it a day. Mandatory Howard. Certified. This is the base version out of $2.99. Barely got a third color in that right window, so there's the Howard. That's cool. I'm gonna try to do the uh, rainbow for him for prism and optic focus. This is blue. Blue is 149, and you can get the blues in uh, retail too. This one's centered nicely. I, I opened a uh, retail optic. I wasn't very impressed with it, but my opinion. Here's a cool one. Couple edges. This was in a lot. I think he had these for both for 20 bucks or something crazy. I just thought it was a good deal. Two on-card edge autos for 20 bucks. And this one isn't totally faded off like a lot of the SPX 99s. So out of 1999, this one's not numbered. I don't know, there's probably a thousand of them. A couple more. I got this for 10 bucks. I thought that was a good deal. Score select to 150 Vic Auto. It says 150, but it's not numbered. Maybe that's the print run. It's got like a sticker thing on there too. BCC Jews, that's just a cash grab. Um, Derrick Henry, Mirror Orange, two three ninety nine. So that's it for this one, guys. Almost went fifteen minutes, so tons of cards. Later.